So I have to say for the video I made about the battle pass, it got more attention than I first expected. That is quite a couple of views. And I noticed something. While Dexter and Regis followed making their own videos from their own perspective and talking about the issue, there was something that eventually had to happen. And it just happened a couple hours ago. Ben Lee, the game director for Hearthstone, made this post. He made like an official apology letter or just making a statement on it. And I thought, hey, why not just read it together and see what actually happened in there? Because I read it already. It's, yeah, it's official. They, they made a post. So... <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look. It starts with, We've been listening to your feedback regarding the rewards track and it's clear we missed the mark both and have communicated and implemented the full functionality of this first version of our reward system. I like the fact that it says first version. Do we get another track? Again, probably next expansion. That is probably what the first one stands for. But I kind of expected that the first version means the first version for this expansion. So they have like five different things planned and they just cut out the current one and put it in a better thing in place. But let, let's keep on. We apologize for the confusion and disappointment we have caused. By the way, there's one picture about the bingo, about which words are used in the apology right here, which was posted like a day or two ago. I feel like we should go through that, at least I will go through it after, and see if we actually get a bingo for that. During the natural progression of the reward cycle, our intention was and still is to give out extra XP over time through a variety of ways. I is that the case? Like, like actually? Really? Okay. When? How often? How much? What do I get? Like, this, this seems really vague. This seems like it's made up. They probably had something planned, like make an event, like a seasonal event, like let's say a Fellfire stuff, or like the Ragnaros Fire event, or whatever it was called. We get like an entire quest chain. I guess that is now going to reward XP. But wouldn't that happen anyways? Like, if we do have the Tavern Pass or not, wouldn't this happen no matter what? I might be misunderstanding that, but this just seems like mentioning what would happen anyways and has nothing to do with the pass. That's like saying, remember the, the events that we had in Hearthstone and they give you extra gold? Yeah, th that's it. The aim is to help players get through the rewards track. I'll catch up if they join later in the expansion phase. Ultimately, ensuring players earn more rewards. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, so far there's nothing of the math addressed. It's not showing that we actually would gain more than before. Also, I like the term rewards. Doesn't mean I get less gold and less packs, but I get like more if we combine both. Also, the hero portraits, card packs, the stuff like that count into reward. Is a golden card a reward? How much of that reward is actually gold? Which is what the issue is here. We also didn't provide any details for how events will link into and support for reward system. Exactly, as mentioned. We will be providing bonus XP for various activities at each seasonal event, every expansion cycle. And any additional bonuses, events as needed. Um, how many of those happen? Another one? Maybe two? Once per month? I like how he starts the sentence with, we didn't provide any details, and he keeps on saying stuff without providing any details. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I'm just still sitting here knowing that nothing happens. Doesn't seem too good. Again, with the aim of ensuring that our players obtain more rewards. Our failure to communicate these factors has led to incomplete projections for which we apologize. Can we just, I don't know, talk in plain English? This just sounds like some corporate made up letter. This doesn't even sound human. Who says our failure to communicate these factors has led to incomplete projections? Which human on this earth talks like that? That no, that just sounds bad. In addition, you've provided us with a wealth of feedback and we agree that the park rewards at the end of the track don't feel appropriate for the effort it takes to get them. One of the many things that people were outrageous about, that if you get a pack at like level 48, it's not worth as much gold as it is if you get it like immediately and stuff. We're going to adjust these rewards in the later stages of the track, swapping six packs for a total of 1350 gold that players can spend as they see fit. So we lose six packs or 600 gold of value, get 1350, so we get a net plus of 750 gold. Yay. Okay, th that's a good start. I, th that's actually making things better almost immediately. That good job. If any players reach this milestone before we implement these changes, they will be retroactively compensated. Sure. Sounds all right. Sounds fair. Our goal for the rewards track continues to be that all Hearthstone players earn more gold and total rewards per expansion. That is like mentioned three times now. I get it. We will continue to evaluate the impact of these changes, listen to your feedback, and iterate as needed until we get it right. We will stay true to our word and ensure that the system lives up to what we all believe Hearthstone deserves. Thank you, Ben Lee, Game Director. The actual thing that happens is we get 750 more gold, and that that's it. I might be misunderstanding something here, but this doesn't look like it's an issue for them. 
This actually just sounds like when they say our failure to communicate, this thing is actually good, and here's why, but the why is missing so far. I mean, they have to change it, and they will probably change it more and more, so we will get more stuff for free, which is, that's what we wanted. This really just sounds more like an announcement of saying, hey, player base, you didn't quite understand this, just wait, forever, and then you will understand. Because you have seasonal events, and they give you extra XP, and those XP, they give you things like rewards and you can get them. So I thought it would be funny to read the responses. So you're putting the band 8 of short-term events over the broken XP system and leaving the highly restrictive rank it preferred style of the quest. You've done nothing. That is the number one post. I can't make this up. It's going to be linked down below so you can read all the 127 responses up until now for yourself. Well, that... <laughs> That's a good first post. Yeah, what about the fact that your B pass is overpriced compared to other battle passes? Well, that's also a good point. It's a little bit more expensive and you get... Yeah, it's it's more expensive. So you have to have and now you're adding something new to try and save face. While also not letting anybody project actual outcomes from it to see if it's actually better or not. I, I would say that sums up my thoughts as well. So they try to fix it, give us a little bit of gold give us more rewards because they want to ensure that we get more rewards over time. And the apology is, yeah, just believe us. I would like to see some stats and stuff. XP generation is still way too slow and relying on a time-based system for XP in games is terrible. It is. As I mentioned in the last video, I was playing a game called Arc Age. Unless you really farm every single day and do all your weekly quests, unless you do that, you're missing out. So for anybody who starts playing the game today when the expansion actually get released, like they missed out on last week and the weekly quests. And they missed out on all the daily quests. So how can they catch up? Are the quests worth more now? And if the quests are worth more, wouldn't that mean that I can just not do any of my quests at the moment, just save all the time, not get any of the XP because I will get more later on anyways, and I will catch up regardless. And there would be like, let's say a 10% difference between doing all my quests every single day for the next two months and just joining in two months later. Like if you think about it that way, the system really seems terrible. I didn't even think about that up until now. But yeah, if you don't, start playing with the system and finish all your quests, then you just fall behind. Look at this. Lightbringer said something. It's pathetic. And 45 people agree. At this point, I'm more concerned with how this new quest will be gatekeeping players from XP. If you're an only BG or duels or arena player, you will still have to win 7 ranked matches to complete the most lucrative weekly quest. Yeah, that's true. Like, I also had to play... I wanted to play duels, and I played duels, but I still had my ranked quest, so I had to stop playing duels, even though I wanted to play it, to switch to ranked, to finish my quest before the weekends. One fun fact, if you have your daily quest that reads play three games as shaman, you can now just queue a match and instantly concede it counts as a play game. It counts towards the quest. Also not a single comment about the many players that have literally their quests not appear this last reset. Or any of the other bugs this patch brought up. Which is also terrible. Like, not just the battle pass system is not that well received, but it also doesn't even show up for half the players. Okay, maybe just a small percentage, like let's say 1%. But still, that is an issue that is not addressed at all. And lastly, slight progress, I guess. Still doesn't address the slow progression. The bots now rampant, the less got obtained, even after giving the 1350. I saw this one tweet earlier, maybe you can find the picture, in which a white player faced, I think within a day, like nine different people, maybe even more, if it was just one screenshot, of odd warriors that rope every single turn. Like people actually tried to farm XP. Like it wasn't even a meme that people play a very slow deck and wild and just don't do anything and have a bot running that to farm XP, they actually do that. Like I only encountered two when I made the video, so I thought maybe just a couple people do that, but it's more than expected. I'm also going to stream later on today for the new expansion and play, I don't know what. I hope I don't face too many of them, but yeah, I guess we will see. And with that I would say, at least we got a response from the game director, so yay. I don't know, things need to change, stuff needs to happen. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and stuff. I really hope we get an actual response that addresses things that shows the math, that is just easy to understand that this system is better because they put in more things and yeah. I don't know, just make it better, Blizzard. Thank you.